Same thing, execution. I don't think it's a matter of the scheme or the. It's just we didn't execute at the right time. Um, the defense did a great job, you know, getting all those turnovers early. You know, obviously, I'm very disappointed that we didn't uh, capitalize on it. Um, we went through everything, and it's really just a function of us killing ourselves. You know, Notre Dame's a really good team, but you know, when you jump offsides, you don't give yourself a chance to get the play started. When you don't. Um, execute the play the right way you don't get a chance to get the play started so a lot of those mistakes were uh, self-inflicted and that's the kind of the thing that we're trying to get out of this, our system. Uh, after the game Jarrell was kind of talking about the pre-snap penalties and kind of a sense of anxiousness when you guys get down in the red zone do you know what that stems from or is there anything you're trying to do to, to quell that a little bit? Yeah we're going to call in a psychologist and we're going to like <laughs> do some visual because you know it's it's funny but we don't do it in practice you know we had the music we, we prepared for the crowd and all that you know I think sometimes guys are anticipating the snap count uh, so that's something that we we talked about last well yesterday we talked about you know we're trying to jump the snap count so they're just flinching and things like that so we're really making it a point of emphasis we're going to change up uh, what we're doing with the snap count to kind of make it a little bit more uh, uniform in terms of everybody knows when the ball is going to be snapped and stuff like that have john and terrell have any kind of issues with that Snap count. No, I think uh, you know you got the, you got two guys communicating at the same time. John is communicating with the line and calling out the fronts. Terrell is communicating with um, the receivers and the line. So sometimes it's just a matter of I'm communicating with Hickey. We're all communicating to Hickey at the same time, and he hears something and it's like, oh, is that it? He's like, damn, that wasn't it. Excuse my language, but you know, it's just a matter of you know we just got to uniform it and make it where. Certain code words mean certain things, and everyone can settle in and kind of do that. Because, you know, if you look back at it, you know, I think we got uh, 21 in four games, 21 penalties, not all false starts, but a majority of them are, you know, before we're getting the ball snapped. And unfortunately, a lot of those are happening at critical situations. I think you did a great article about when, you know, I think it was every four in, in the scoring zone and the, the less when we're going out of the scoring zone. So, you know, we all want to score points, but we just got to understand that we got to hold our water, take a calm breath and let the play get started so we can actually execute in that situation. And then maybe on the execution side of things, um, when you went back and looked, were there, were there any trends or players or position groups that you think should have been better? I think it's a uniform thing. You know, I don't like singling out guys. You know, it starts with me on, you know, there's a couple calls that I wish I could take back. And, you know, every position kind of contributed to us not executing. I don't think it's ever one person. You know, usually it's me. You know, I always start with myself. But, um, you know, we looked at everything from a scheme standpoint. We're doing a good job. We're moving the ball. We're, we're not stagnant. It's just at those critical situations, whether it's third down and short or whether it's, you know, in the red zone, we're just getting, you know, some of them are just stupid penalties like the personal foul. There's no reason to get that. Some penalties you can live with, like holding on ish. You know, that happens every play. It's, just, it's a judgment call of how egregious the holding call is. But really, you know, the personal fouls are controllable and the false starts are controllable. So that's really the things that we really got to focus on. And going into this game, we just got to eliminate that or at least knock it down uh, to a, a lower manageable number. What are the implications of Ivan Coy being doubtful for the game? Next man up. You know, it's just we, we've done that for the last two years. Uh, you know, whoever it is, whether it's Ashton Broyle, whether it's Ivan, it's just the next guy up. Uh, so we'll just roll in the next lineman. Fortunately, we felt like we had seven quality linemen that can start. So unfortunately, we're getting through all seven of them. But, uh, you know, we feel com comfortable with the guys that we have, and we're excited to go out and play with who we have.